The most embarrassing argument you've had online? Um, I'm trying to think. How did you decide what uni to go for? Also, favourite maths topic and why? One university that I applied for was terrible. The next question, it gets in the heart here. It says, why didn't you get a star in A-level maths? Is that better? That's better. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. First of all, thanks for this, 1,000 subscribers. There's now 1,000 people and more, but it doesn't say it anymore, it's now got a special little K. But there's more than 1,000 people subscribed to this channel, so thank you very much for that. I didn't have a video planned because I didn't know when I was going to hit 1,000 subscribers, if ever. But I asked you on my Instagram if you don't follow me make sure to go and follow me over on my Instagram. I asked you for some video ideas and a video suggestion was another Q&A. So I asked you for some questions and you guys sent some in and in today's video we're going to be answering those questions. I have the questions here on my iPad and they are kind of maths related, uni related, um, related somehow to me and I thought it would be a nice way for you to get to know me a little bit better. That's if you want to, if you don't want to get to know me that's also fine. But let's jump in to the questions. The first question says when is your birthday? My birthday is the 30th of August 2002 so I am the youngest in my year. I'm still 17. If I was born two days later, so if I was born on like 1st of September, I would have been in the year below me so I would have been going into my second year at college, which is crazy to think because I'm not, I'm actually starting uni. The next question says, favourite thing to bake? We have done so much baking over quarantine and lockdown. We like to bake cookies, brownies. We have made school cake with the sprinkles on the top. We like cake. Shortbread's really nice. We've baked flapjacks. But if I had to pick our favourite thing and the thing that we do best, we being me and my sister, um, I would have to say the brownies. The next question says, how many guinea pigs do you have? I have three guinea pigs. As you can see, I have a nice print of a guinea pig and you can see it in the mirror as well. I've had seven in total, but the three that I still have are Oreo, Sylvia and Lucy. The next question says, how did you decide what uni to go for? Also, favourite maths topic and why? So, I didn't apply for many universities. I applied for three. I knew that I didn't just want to apply for a university just for no reason, just to fill up the five options. So, I applied for three and the university that I want to go to is Manchester. When I when on their open day it was the university that I felt was the best. One university that I applied for was terrible. We won't mention which one but it was not good at all so that was out of the option of which university I want to go to. And then there was two others and Manchester was my favourite. It was the most professional. I just felt like I could see myself there and you know you get that instant feeling of like okay, I think this is for me. And I got that at Manchester. So that's what sort of helped me. The lecturers were good and I have got a place there. So fingers crossed, I get the grades that I need to get into the uni. It also said, also favourite maths topic and why? If we're going very general, I would say anything in algebra, but that's like, literally I might as well say it, maths. I do quite like differential equations, going from an equation and getting a nice answer. And I just think it's quite satisfying to do, fun to do. I think I have said that before as well, differential equations. And I mentioned that in my university interview as well. And that's what the question, the maths question that I was given was the differential equations one. So I quite like those. The next question says, what's your favorite color and what's your favorite thing to do, particularly in lockdown? Um. I don't really have a favourite colour. If I was to choose, I'd maybe say like a blue or grey, sort of that kind of vibe. So bluey, grey. that didn't answer your question at all. Sorry. I'm going to go with grey and blue. Can I have two? Okay. Hello, editing Harry here. Uh, just to interrupt that I've now decided whilst editing this that I now think my favourite colour is yellow. So, or add yellow to the list. So grey, blue, yellow, and possibly green as well. 
that didn't help. Anyway. And the second part of the question said, what's your favorite thing to do, particularly in lockdown? I like to bake. I've been watching a little bit of Netflix. I say a little bit because I've started a series and then never watched the rest of it, but all those kind of general things that people are doing in lockdown. The next question says, what TV shows have you been watching in lockdown? The two uh, series, is that a TV show? I have no idea, but I watched two series on Netflix. I watched The Stranger and I watched um, Safe, written by the same person or directed by the same person, I'm not sure, but I really, really enjoyed those. That's about it, really. I did start You, which is a series, so I don't know whether that classes as a TV show. I watched the first season of that and I got bored of it, so I only watched one episode and I haven't gone back. So those are the TV shows that I've been watching in lockdown. The next question says, most embarrassing argument you've had online? I don't think I've had an argument online. Um, I'm trying to think. I haven't had one. The next question says, what uni are you going to next year? I plan on going to Manchester University to study a maths degree. The next question, it gets in the heart here. It says, why didn't you get a star in A-level maths? Thanks for reminding me. No, all jokes aside, I really wasn't bothered that I didn't get an A star. I needed that A for my university because I did further maths. It could have been an A or above, so I got an A and that's all I needed. I don't know why I didn't get an A star. The paper was really, really hard and there was a big outcry after our paper by so many students. I don't know if anyone remembers, but there was like petitions to sign and people complaining and there was a big letter given out. But that's got nothing to do with me not getting an A star. I don't know. I don't know, I just got an A and I'm happy with it anyway, that rhymed. The next question says, on a scale from one to 10, how hard is A-level maths? It depends really how hard you found GCSE maths. If we're talking on a personal level for me, A-level maths was around about a five, I was gonna say six, but it, it was about, about a five or a six for me. When I started, there was no new content really. There was just sort of little add-ons here and there, but there was nothing brand new that you hadn't seen before. And then when you get further into the course, that's when obviously you start doing the, the harder stuff. So at the start of the course for me, it was no different to GCSE, but then when it got harder and harder, it was sort of around about a five and a six, like I said. But the thing is with A-level maths is that there's three parts Parts to A-level maths. So there's pure maths, mechanics and statistics and they're completely different. I prefer pure maths. I'm better at pure maths and it's what I enjoy. So I sort of found that the easiest. And then statistics and mechanics are the applied side of maths. So mechanics, I... Um, we had a love-hate relationship. If I got it, I was like, right, okay, I can do it. And I went to do a question and I just couldn't do it. So I found mechanics the hardest. Statistics was sort of in the middle. I was okay at, I sort of understood it. So overall, about a five or a six. The next question says, was maths a subject you always liked throughout school? I wish it was not, absolutely not. In year seven, year eight and year nine, I just had to do maths because that's what everyone has to do. I was sort of interested in it slightly. I wasn't good at it, but I sort of knew that I could be. And I was in sort of low sets. I was like in set three out of six. In year 10, I started to move up sets. And by the time I was in year 11, I was in set one and I actually actually came out with a grade nine at GCSE. So it wasn't something that I liked, but with hard work and dedication, I got better at it. I started to enjoy it. And I felt like it was something that I could do, which it clearly is because I now wanted to do a maths degree. The next question says, do you have any advice from someone who wants to teach, oh, self-teach themselves maths? If you're wanting to self-teach, then you can find so many videos online that will help you. If you're self-teaching something out of a textbook, then try and use the textbook and the videos online because then, you know, that will help you in both ways. You can read things out of the textbook and you can listen to someone sort of like you've got a teacher with you. But don't get stressed if you can't do something. I know that's easier said than done, but make sure that you sort of have a break if you can't do it and move on to something that maybe you can do or that you can teach yourself easier than the thing that you're stuck on. Also remember to sort of prioritise, I know it sort of contradicts what I've just said, but prioritise what you struggle with. But if you can't do that, then move on to something that's easy. If that makes any sense whatsoever, 
just realized I'm also very, very close. What I'm trying to say is don't forget about the stuff that's hard. The next question says, what was your favorite year at school? Hello, uh, editing Harry here for the second time. I accidentally deleted the Instagram story that had the questions on for the rest of the questions in the video. So I can't put a little pop up on screen of the question anymore. So uh, apologies about that. But anyway, here's my answer. To be quite honest, my school years to me now, this sounds really, really old, but my school years were quite a blur. In year 11, I was head boy. So that was something that I enjoyed. I mean, year seven is the best year really, isn't it? You're sort of at school with not really much to do. You know, you've got a bit of homework, it's quite a relaxed year and so is year eight, to be honest. I think my favorite year would probably have to be year 11. Apart from exams, because we just had so many and um, I had to do English and I hated English with a passion, not because because I just didn't try in it. I tried and I just, it's just not something. Anyone who studies English is gonna be like, everyone can study English, everyone can do it, but I just, I can't do it. Metaphors, alliteration, nah, no. So I would have to say year 11. Next question says, where are you from? I am from Manchester in the UK. Next question. What are you planning on doing at uni? I want to do a maths degree. The next question just says GCSE grades. Let me try and think. English language, I got a grade five. Yes. English literature, I got a grade six. Maths, I got a grade nine. Chemistry, I got a grade eight. Physics, I got a grade five. I didn't like physics at all. To be honest, we didn't have a physics teacher for a very long time and I'm not even being dramatic there. Uh, biology, I got a grade six. Food tech, I got a grade eight. Drama, I got a grade eight. ICT, I got an A star. I think that's all of them. The next question says, subjects for A-levels. I did three A-levels. I did maths, further maths and drama. Drama and theatre studies if you want the full title. The next question says, favourite childhood cereal? Um, what reminds me of being a child? I don't know whether this is classed as a cereal. I think it is. Is the tiny little Weetabix, um, what they called the little, just Weetabix and they had chocolate in them. They were my favourite thing to have in the morning before school and that just sort of reminds me of being little. That's my probably favourite childhood cereal. So there we go. Those are all the questions that were sent in on my Instagram. Thank you so much everybody who submitted a question. If you want to submit another question for an upcoming Q&A that I might do, then make sure to follow me over on my Instagram and other social medias as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.